obsessed with crypto finally rap for you crushing enemies in dark light that's what i do i've been through wild land and locks and never gonna stop gonna make them bodies drop i'm in a different lane i beat a super saiyan i ain't playing can't even match to any foes i be facing yeah i'm the hero's game scratch i am the master been here for e what's up everybody it's your jayden tip we're back with another video so i'm gonna be talking about my favorite skyner's low if you didn't read the title um <laughs> so uh I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos like these, just talking about my favorite things and like Skylanders, like, like certain topics about you know my favorite things in Skylanders. So you'll see. Um, but today we're talking about my favorite level. Favorite level in all of Skylanders has got to be Wilkin Village. Yes, the seventh chapter in Skylanders Giants. Now you could probably say the main reason why. I really like this chapter is because I mean nostalgia and um I mean Giants was my first game so I mean you could probably say that is like the main reason I, I like this chapter I mean yes that does play a factor but that's not one that's like not the main reason why um there's so many reasons why I, I like this um level more than any other uh level in Skylanders and I mean, one of the main reasons is the backstory of this level and the backstory of the Wilkins <laughs> themselves. So let's talk a little bit about that. So the Wilkins originally lived with Chaos, who the dolls still remember fondly of. The Wilkin were Chaos's toys when he was young. He didn't know he was a portal master back then and was shocked to discover he could bring Wilkin to life. Shocked and a bit fearful of what his mother would say if she knew he had these powers. She often blamed Portal Masters for the problems in Skylands. <laughs> he thought it would be best to keep the Woken secret. He began building a device that would return the Woken to their inanimate toy state whenever Mother visited his room. Which, I mean, that explains why there's like that gimmick in the Woken Village where you just change the environment. Um, so that's really cool. Only problem was that these devices cause other things in the world to shift too, not just Wilkin. Uh, during one of these shifts, Chaos's mom noticed that the radishes <laughs> she was boiling for dinner suddenly became bombs. Now that's terrifying. You don't want to eat bombs for breakfast. So <laughs> shortly after that, she learned of the Wilkins and her son's portal master powers. She wasn't too happy, I mean, obviously so, and, but agreed to let Chaos keep his Wilkins, Wilkin friends on the condition that he got rid of those crazy switchers. Thus, he dumped a bunch of them on a remote island that would later become the level that we all know and love, Wilkin Village. So that's a cool origin story on how Wilkin Village became to be what it is like in Skylanders Giants and it was all because you know Chaos's mom got pissed so Chaos decided to dump everything on a island and then call it quits and um basically abandoned the Wilkins I mean forever so this whole level feels just unsettling and it not completely right and the music completely just emphasizes that and um, Ward Bell basically just knocks it out of the park um, with the mu in the music department and uh, yeah if you even heard <laughs> the soundtrack for Wilkin Village you know what I mean um, it completely fits the level and my goodness <laughs> it's good you could say that this level does take some things from Darklight Crypt, and that's mainly just the gimmick of this level, but, I mean, it completely fits with this level, you know? One second, it's joyful and colorful, and then another, it's dark and gloomy. <laughs> Alright, so now, let's talk about the boss fight in this level, which is a chomping mage, but... Before we even talk about the Chomp Village, let's just talk about this boss fight. So, everything you've learned 
um, up until the boss fight is, you know, just to use the switching mechanic, you know, the Woken World to the Underworld, um, and what do you use, like, what's the main gimmick in this boss fight? The switching mechanic. And, um, you basically, you know, use the switching mechanic to get the healing orbs, and then sometimes when the the inner orbs, like the ones that hurt you, come at you, you can switch, and then they turn into healing orbs. So, that's, it's perfect. But, you can also cheese this boss fight a bit, you know, it's really easy, you know, to switch to the healing orbs, so... You know, it can get easy at times. But now let's talk about the Chompy Mage himself, which he is a fun character. I'm not gonna lie, he's basically a ventriloquist. I hope I'm saying that right. But uh, yeah, Chompy Puppet is the cherry on a fantastic Chompy cake. Both uh, Chompy Puppet and Chompy Mage uh, are fun characters. You know. So that's going to wrap up my thoughts about this whole, sorry that I was just a little bit short. I'm, I want to save my big just details for the Sky and Rebel Reviews episode that's going to be coming in the future. So yeah, uh, overall Wilkin Village is just a great level, great themes, great enemies I forgot to talk about. And um, you know, I think it's just a great overall level in general. Now, it's a no-brainer that this level got a sequel called, um, I think it's Woken Workshop, yes. The one with Crankcase in it. Um, that's actually a pretty decent level. I don't know if it's better than Woken Village, per se, but it's actually pretty decent. So, yeah, uh, that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, hope you guys are excited for the rest of the Jade 064 week. Peace out.